And uh, it was interesting because apparently they'd never met each other before yeah. either. And we were sitting at a table and there was just four of us sitting there and Mark and Jonathan were, were a couple of the people that were sitting at this table. And Mark said to Jonathan, uh, he said, uh, uh, oh, the, uh, Talib's lawyer is someone named Katab. Do you, are you related to him? And Jonathan <laughs> goes, I'm his lawyer. And Mark was like, oh, oh. <laughs> Pretty, pretty surprised that he was actually yeah. sitting at the table with your lawyer, which was pretty funny. But um, it was interesting. They're, they're both very, very uh, fascinating to talk to, as you can imagine, and as you know from, from personal experience. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's uh, Mark has an incredible story to tell, too. He's an American Jewish um, Palestinian. Palestinian Jew. Yeah. <laughs> so he's got ties to all three of those. Um, uh, nationalities, uh, relationships, and uh, uh, he, he grew up with the story. Of, he, he's one of those folks that you were talking about earlier who um, has uh, looked, you know, had ties to, to Israel. He has been to Israel on many occasions, and then in 2006 went to Palestine for the first time and went to your, right. your land and um, began to see that you know, and came back a changed person, as he as he tells it. And um, yeah, it's it's a pretty remarkable, a per, pretty remarkable experience. I I also, as as you may know, um, went to Palestine for the first mm -hmm. time in uh, in two thousand four, and um, yeah, came back a changed changed person. So, and this is actually uh, what we want. We want the people to come and see. Right and experience the situation uh, by themselves. Uh, because I can talk a lot, yeah. and many other people, they can talk a lot, but the best experience is when somebody comes and see the situation. Um, we ask always the people uh, not to be on one side, mm -hmm. just to understand the situation from both sides. Right. And, uh, and to come back and say, Where, what can I do? You know, because in my opinion, everybody is responsible. We need your support. We need your help to help both nations to move out of this circle of frustration, violence. Um, and uh, that's why we need the people here or everywhere in the world to act in a positive way and to have a solidarity not with one nation on the cause of the other, but on both sides. Right. Yeah, and it seems to me to be... It and just over the last few weeks, too, I have been uh, becoming increasingly frustrated with, uh, as I heard you mention, to the political system um, on both sides. Um, uh, as, you, as you probably know, um, the Goldstone Report was, um, uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying to decide how much of this to, to talk about. We'll try to make a long story short for the, for the audience here. Um, the UN commissioned a report by uh, uh, Judge R Richard Goldstone, who is a, a Zionist by his own definition um, from South Africa, who has done human rights reports over the world. And he was commissioned to do a, to do a study on um, the incursion into Gaza by the Israeli mm -hmm. army and to investigate possible war crimes by both Hamas and Israel. And the report uh, suggest that both groups did commit war crimes and asked um, both groups to investigate themselves and if not that they should be taken to the War Crimes Commission in um, The Hague. And um, yesterday the, the United States Congress um, voted to essentially disregard that report. And um, so I, I'm, I'm becoming very disappointed and uh, in the in the political system as well, and and very heartened when I hear someone like you, you know, come, and you know, the Palestinian people continue to um, impress me in terms of their um, uh, their ability to look beyond, you know, to how do you do it. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, it's not so easy thinking about the circumstances we are uh, yeah. facing. Um, but at the end, you know, there's, there is no room to be, you know, to, uh, not to act in a positive way. Because 
if, if I want to be the victim, you know, I won't be able to do anything. So that's why, for me, I, I want to move out of this, you know, victim mentality. Mm -hmm. um, uh, of course, you know, it's sometimes very difficult, difficult situation. The circumstances are very difficult. The political situation, uh, both, you know, in the country and outside, the political pressure is, uh, is big. But at the end, we are people, you know, we have to, to stay, um, you know, to keep our hope because we are people who are believing in justice. And at the, uh, at the end, justice will prevail. Uh, we are living in this hope, but not uh, just living in this hope, we are acting. Mm -hmm. This is very right. important. You know. yeah. um, um, and uh, the, 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 three, the three things that are important in my work is faith, hope, and love. Mm. And I try to you know, to keep my frustration away when I think about faith, love, and hope. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a quote from Corinthians? Didn't Jesus yes. say that? Faith, hope, and love, and the yes. greatest of these is love. love. Right. That's First Corinthians 13, right? Right. Yeah, and, and uh, thank you very much for being with us, dude. I, wanna, I want to um, reiterate that if you want to help, um, go to www.tentofnations.org or www.fotana.org, F-O-T-O-N-N-A.org. And um, you can get an idea about not only how to send financial support, but how you can visit right. the Tent of Nations yourself, be a, 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 volunteer a leader, too. a volunteer. You know, you not only come to see, but you can work on the land and actually help him uh, do something and and I I like the idea of continuing to I'm a doer too as you mm -hmm. as you may or may not imagine that I I like to be able to to do something and I'm I'm the same mm -hmm. way you know if we're not doing something positive mm -hmm. it's easy to slip back into right. the not just victimization but mm -hmm. depression and mm -hmm. and you know sadness mm -hmm. and so in order to combat that you yeah you work you move forward yes so um, we're coming to the end of the program here, and we still have two minutes. <laughs> so is there anything else you'd like to say? Um, I, want, I would like to thank you for this opportunity because we would like our voices for, um, to be heard outside. Mm -hmm. And um, we would like also to, to, to tell people that uh, there is still hope and there is still good news mm -hmm. coming out of, of Palestine. Mm -hmm. And uh, please uh, back us with this and keep this good news on and on. You have children? I have three children. You left your family to come here to the United States? Yes. To tell mm -hmm. us. And how old are your children? Um, the oldest, uh, Shaden, she is uh, 10 years old. And the middle one, Nardine, she is 7 years old. And the boy is uh, Bishara which means the good news. Yeah, that's what reminded me of. Yeah, <laughs> he's five years old. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, and they're, we, we saw pictures earlier, and they're beautiful children. Thank you. And you're, they're, they're lucky to have you as, your, as their dad. And I'm lucky to have them, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, isn't that the way of it? Yeah, yeah, you feel, yeah. I have sons, too, so I know, I know what you mean. So, uh, well, I think we'll wrap it up here, and thank you very much you're for welcome. coming. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And the times begin. They forecast the apocalypse, said it was coming soon. Preparations must be made, they said. Now is the time. It was years ago, they shouted.